What is up guys? So today is going to mark the beginning of a brand new series. Now, uh, almost a year ago, it hasn't even been an entire year yet when I started this channel. Uh, the first series we did was how to build my personal website using Jekyll or something like that. And uh, that was great. I like that. I mean, it's it's been the longest running series on this channel and it's gotten the most views uh, and the most comments and, and it's gotten the most attraction throughout every aspect of it. And it was a really fun project to do. But uh, as I was just saying, that had been oh, almost a year ago. And uh, there's some things, you know, I was still doing here and there to it just to, you know, touch it up a little bit and make it a little newer, a little better as time went on uh, after the series ended. Uh, nothing major I think I showed you guys most everything that I did to it but since then things have changed I don't need that website any longer not in its current state at least because uh, that website was targeted for me to get a job and I got that job and so now uh, if you look at some of my previous videos I think I, I had some blog posts about it I don't think I went in detail or did any tutorials at all on my new personal website, which just to be clear is now ZacharyNewton.me instead of ZacharyRNewton.com. Um, I don't think I really did any tutorial videos on there, but I talked a little bit about it throughout some of my vlogs. If you were to, if you were to go and take a look back at some of them, you'll see that, and I'll post the link to it down below so you can take a look at it. But that was really fun, and that was the start of changing all of my. Uh, websites and things like that because that website is now my personal website because I'm no longer looking for a job so I really just want that to kind of be like a directory for any of the uh, other projects and websites and things that I'm working on or doing I just want that to be a directory to point people to those other places now uh, to explain what this new website is going to be essentially um, as, as you can probably see by the playlist that it's in or maybe the title I don't know what I'm gonna name the title of this video yet um, aside from just an intro video to this series um, but it's going to be something along the lines of uh, how to build my uh, personal or not personal my company's website so uh, I I run Zachary R. Newton as a company more than just myself now, especially after getting this job. Uh, and that's that's really not reflected at all in the current uh, website, ZacharyRNewton.com, which I'll also post in the link down below. And if you look at it now, you'll see the current version that I'm referencing. But if now is like a year after I've posted this video, it's probably not going to be the same at all. Uh, in which case, if that happens, leave a comment down below and I'll come back in the future and give you like a legacy link uh, or whatever you want to call that. So you can take a look at this specific version that did exist in the future's past. Anyways, um, with all that being said, it, it's going to be a pretty in-depth series and I'm not sure how long it's going to be going on for and I don't really know what tools we're going to be using when we create this. I mean, obviously we're going to be using things like HTML and some CSS and stuff like that. But aside from that, I don't know if I'm going to be using anything like Jekyll because it might not be necessary and I'm not going to go, I'm not going to use Jekyll just to use Jekyll. So uh, over, uh, let me pull up my notes real quick. Um, over the entire course of this series, uh, it, we're, we're going to be going over some things like uh, whiteboarding, some user research, we're going to go over some mind mapping, and then after all of those, uh, we're going to start going into some low fidelity wireframes, and then we're going to go into a mid fidelity wireframe and prototype. Uh, and then I'm going to take that like mid fidelity wireframe and prototype to uh, some people I know, some other designers uh, uh, and whoever my actual target audience will be. I don't even know who that is yet, 100% honestly. Uh, and that's what we're going to be discussing so, because I'm going to be taking this from the very, very beginning all the way through to the end with you guys. And so we're going to be doing some user testing uh, and seeing what the target audience thinks of the website, seeing what information they would like to know uh, and things like that. And then after that, we're going to come back in here. We're going to work on the branding a little more. Uh, I may, I don't think I went over branding uh, or at least the current branding that I have in the YouTube videos, but I had a logo and I liked it. And then a little while later, I actually changed the logo 
uh, because I wanted it to feel I wanted it to feel a little bit more organic and a little less harsh uh, and so instead of just being hard edges all around the outside I kind of rounded the corners a little bit and I, I like the way it looks and feels it's a little softer and that's more along the lines of what I wanted to go for from the very beginning so I will show you guys that later on when we get to that branding section I'll show you what I had what I have and then we're gonna work on it together and clean it up some as far as the colors go uh, we're gonna need a new typography set I already know that because I don't like the typography that I have chosen for the current one at least, at least I don't want to use that for the new website that we're gonna be working on I'm using Rubik and I mean it's a very it's a very soft rounded font and I don't want that to be the font I'm using for my uh, new website it's also the font that I'm using for my personal website on the Zachary R no, it's on the Zachary Newton me uh, URL and I like it there because that's more of a personal you know this is me kind of thing and that's that's exactly what I wanted it to be but this I don't want it to be very personal like that because I want this to be my company and my company is Zachary R. Newton um, because any work that I take on uh, outside from anywhere else uh, is going to be run through this Zachary R. Newton company uh, and uh, I, I will have people working for me and doing some other tasks and doing whatever we need to do to get those jobs done and out of the way. But anyways, to bring this back into what we were talking about with the kind of flow for this series, after we work on that branding, let's see, we're going to continue going over some high fidelity design and prototype as well. Uh, and then after that, we're going to take what we have there and uh, we're going to do a little bit more user testing and, you know, kind of gauge what people are thinking about the design and, and gauge with the audience uh, what it assuming that uh, from the previous round of user testing we have, hopefully that's enough for us to be able to fix all the issues that we find. Uh, and with the second time we do this user testing after the high fidelity design and prototype, hopefully all of those issues will be addressed. And if not, we will have to make sure we cover them at that point. And once that is done, we will go into one of the final stages, which is development. And uh, again, I'm not really sure what uh, tools we're going to be using to develop this with. I don't know if it's going to be Jekyll. I don't know if we're going to build it on something like Webflow. I, I just don't know yet. Um, I think at the moment, I kind of think Webflow would be cool uh, because it would be a new tool to learn for not only me, but you guys, unless you guys are Webflow wizards. Uh, in which case, let me know uh, and uh, t teach me something. Uh, but anyways, that's something that we'll decide uh, probably in the, the next few videos after we talk about some you know do some whiteboarding get some of the ideas out there and just say look this is what i want this is what i think the audience is going to want this is who i want the audience to be and things like that we're going to go all over all of that we're going to answer all of those questions and along the process if you guys are watching and you have questions leave them down in the comments below so that i can be sure to either address your questions and answer them to you directly or maybe it's a question that i should be asking in this process that i just did didn't ask or forgot to ask whatever the case may be and then we will go over and answer those questions if they are valid so that's kind of what is lined up for uh, the next I really don't know how long this is gonna run it could be a long series last one was kind of long so I would estimate this will be pretty long but it's gonna be very in-depth and in order to not keep you guys uh, bored if, if you aren't really into this specific series I will be releasing some other videos periodically along the way at the same time that we're releasing these uh, tutorial all of these tutorial videos so it's it's still gonna be one tutorial video at least every week posted on Saturday at around like 11 a.m. ish something like that uh, right now I've been getting some things in line and getting some videos scheduled out for weeks in advance and that's gonna help significantly when we get into this uh, very in-depth tutorial so I hope this is something you guys are really going to enjoy I cannot wait to get into it and talk a bit more about about it but this is just an intro video to the series my apologies because it I, I already know it's a little long right now but uh, I think it needs to be long because I want to be transparent with you and tell you what I have planned out for the next few months at least I'm sure it's gonna take uh, a few months to do this because I'm not just doing this on my own 
uh, at, on a day to day basis. I'm doing this with you on like a week to week basis. So it's, it's going to be drawn out a little more for me. Uh, but that will give me time to think about a lot of this stuff a little bit more in depthly and get back to you guys and give you uh, better answers, uh, give you better reasons for why we're doing certain things and choosing certain things, whether it's tools or whatever, design elements, any, any of that. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up now because it is getting long and I don't want to bore you guys to death right now. I just wanted to kind of get this video out there and let you guys know what is in store for all of these tutorial videos coming up over the next few uh months i will just we'll start calling it months uh anyways i believe the series title is going to be design and code my business website that's probably going to be the uh name of this series so keep an eye out for all of those videos coming out with that uh, and in the meantime, if you have questions about other stuff that uh, I'm not answering within those tutorial videos, because like I said, they are going to be in depth. We're going to be uh, talking about how we're building certain things out. Why are we using the certain HTML hierarchy that we're using? Uh, I'll, I'll go into CSS specificity a bit more in that video as well. I know I had just mentioned that recently, uh, but in that series, we will be going in depth. Uh, with CSS specificity because that is one thing we are going to be using a bit for certain reasons and I'll explain to you why we're using them so those are going to be some really really bomb tutorials I hope uh, it's, they're going to be nice and long uh, and I will segment them so we'll have you know part one and part two and what I'll probably do is I'll release part one on that Saturday and then I'll probably go ahead and release part two uh, halfway throughout the next week uh, to kind of keep you guys going and not hit you too hard with too long of a video on that Saturday on the weekend uh, because I know we all like our weekends so I'll try and keep you guys in mind when I'm scheduling that stuff out but Anyways, I promise this is the end of this video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're excited for this series coming up that uh, this is, you know, in now, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's anything you want to know uh, regarding, uh, you know, how I'm planning this out and what we're going to be going over. Uh, and if you have specific areas that you want me to be a bit more in depth about, let me know and I will do my best to be a bit more in depth about. But anyways, guys, on top of all that, if you like the videos that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.